In our last video, we discussed what paint redos cost a shop. In this video, we're going to discuss some common causes and cures for the dreaded redo. Next, in the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Garage. After monitoring a two-painter shop for seven months, it was found that there were 66 redos, 21 caused by bad color, 19 by scratches or burns after paint, 10 by bad bodywork, 8 by lack of communication, missed damage, 6 by poor prep, and 2 by the wrong part. If the color is wrong, then we're likely repainting the job in its entirety. The question is, why did we paint the vehicle with a color that doesn't match? Let's examine the procedures that resulted in choosing the formula, mixing the color, deciding the color was good, and painting. What year is the vehicle? Did we pick a formula with the same vintage? Did we do a camera shot to guide us? Did we choose the formula based on a chip from our color documents? Did we have a spray out in our personal color library? Presuming we've chosen a formula with intelligence, did we make a spray out of the color? Apply clear to the spray out prior to checking color. This is critical for butt matches. Check the spray out in the blend zone. The appropriate position on the vehicle? Check all angles? Get another set of eyes to confirm. As often as not, there will be multiple colors on different panels, sometimes from the factory, sometimes due to a previous repair. When replacing a bumper cover, check both sides of the vehicle. Check the color where it matters. Sometimes there are multiple areas that matter. The punchline is verify that the color matches before painting the entire job. Now let's talk about the estimator's responsibility and setting proper customer expectations. It's the duty of the estimator to point out pre-existing deficiencies and mismatches to the customer. This is a time to upsell and, at the very least, to document. Additionally, when replacing or painting a bumper cover only, the use of a diamond card is helpful to illustrate how a color will shift due to differing angles. Demonstrate this upfront and a slight acceptable mismatch is easier for the customer to live with. Attempt this same education during delivery of the vehicle and it sounds like excuse making and often results in an unnecessary repaint. Okay, we have a color we like. Why doesn't the painted outcome match when our spray out card did? The most common reason is a lack of consistency of application or lack of coverage. This is particularly evident with a butt match. Often from the factory, the film build on a fender is thinner at the bumper edge than at the hood edge. You think that doesn't affect color match? Again, where are we checking the spray out card? Another reason contributing to the inconsistent application is gun attitude. When we paint a fender off the vehicle on a stand at chest height and then blend the door on the vehicle at waist height, you can bet the gun distance from the panel is different. Particularly when painting parts off the car, you must pay attention to gun distance, speed, and overlap. It's amazing how making a short video of the painter while painting can reveal application inconsistencies. It may not matter on solid colors, but it certainly does on metallics. The next most offending cause of redos are scratches and burns. Both are post paint and possibly not at the painter's hand. We may be able to say burns are the painter's problem, but it also depends on who's doing the buffing. Where are the burns? Are they a result of runs or inexperience with the tool? Is the painter doing his own buffing or is it a kid off the street? Or is it a detail professional? The cause of burns needs to be investigated. As far as scratches are concerned, are they assembly casualties or lot damage? This is another repaint cause that will have to be examined more closely to pinpoint the culprit. Regardless, in both cases, we can be fairly certain that carelessness is the underlying cause. The bottom line is that greater attention to detail will lend itself towards a good and proper repair, reducing the likelihood of a redo and the liabilities associated with it. I'm Jason Stahl from the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Garage. Thanks for watching.